Hey guys, so a lot of people have been asking me what I use for my overclock settings. Uh, for reference, I have an RTX 2070 Super, uh, so you can use that to compare to your own graphics cards. Real quick before we start, if you want to get double earnings on Sal.io, go to this earn tab right here, click on referrals. You can type in my referral code XBSQHN. All right, let's get right into the information. So come down here to MSI Afterburner, right down here. Um, MSI Afterburner is one of the best overclockers. You should definitely use it. It's very trustworthy and has a lot of information and all the things you need. So first of all, I want to say for my settings right here, temperature uh, limit is at around 83 core clock, negative 178. I'll get into all this information later. I'm just telling you the settings. Uh, memory clock 950 fan speed limit 68. And OK, now I'll get into what all this information means. So first of all, temperature limit. So you just want to limit the temperature so that this basically makes it so that it reverts back to the original settings after it reaches a certain temperature. So normal temperatures under load for your GPUs is 75 to 85 degrees Celsius. So right now mine's at 56 because it's not under load. Um, but basically once you're mining, if it's at 75 to 85, you're good. If it goes over that, um, that's probably not good. So you don't want your CPU or your GPU to overheat and destroy your computer. Uh, so that's why you should turn the limit up to that. Now, the thing that cools your computer is fan speed, but everybody knows that fan speeds can get a little loud. So turn that down a little bit as to not use too much power as well. Um, now let's move on to core clock and memory clock, the most important part. Okay, so this, the main usage of this is making your computer work as hard as possible without making it crash. So basically what core clock is, it's just, well, you know, the core clock. So when you're GPU mining, it uses most of your GPU and your GPU mostly uses the memory clock while your CPU mostly uses the core clock, right? So core clock, basically you can set that down on your GPU mining so that you can, you know, uh, not divert all of the power. What? Not divert all of the power to uh, Bitcoin mining and you can save on power by just diverting it to your memory clock. And it'll also make, the, it'll also make it so that your temperature goes down as well and your fan speed. So that's just good for everyone. Now, memory clock, um, I set that to a really high number, 950, because that's your main horsepower here. You want to set that as high as it can go. For a 2070 uh, Super, it's at 950. Now, know this. Not all graphics cards know to 950. Don't instantly go to 950 if you have like a GTX 1070. Your computer will crash. Uh, uh, some can go higher. Uh, you could read up on it on your graphics card. All I know is what works with my card is 950. Um, don't worry if your computer crashes. It usually isn't harmful to your PC. It just is a little scary for a second, but uh, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so make sure to set your memory clock really high. Set your core clock low. Um, yeah, so uh, one more thing I should mention is if you want to make sure that your PC uh, is running or isn't using too much of your GPU power, what you have to do is look at this number here, 1350 megahertz. This is your GPU usage. Um, if that gets too high, uh, that's another sign. So fan speed and your temperature, if that goes too high, like I said earlier, above 85 degrees Celsius, that's not a good sign, but that's only if you're using CPU. CPU usage is what makes your temperature go up, not GPU usage. So if your GPU usage is too high, you don't want to pay attention to the temperature. I mean, you can, but what's usually going to be going up too high is not the temperature. It's going to be this number right here on your GPU clock. So make sure that doesn't go too high either. So anyway, one last time, temperature unit is at 83 limit, uh, core clock negative 170, memory clock 950, and fan speed is 60. One last time, go to the earn tab, click on referrals, and turn our code XBSQHN to make double the earnings. Trust me, double the earnings is a lot more than what you'd make just overclocking. Um, so make sure to use our referral code. And by the way, we're doing a community challenge number three. Uh, this is the third community challenge, obviously, because it's number three. Um, so basically, if we hit 42 million community XP by the end of Friday, all of us get two times the earnings. So if you if we hit this, we'll get two times earnings for 48 hours. So if you use my referral code within the next 48 hours, uh, by the way, we're most likely gonna hit this challenge. It always happens. Salad community really out here uh, taking the spotlight, but uh, yeah, we are definitely gonna hit this community challenge. We're gonna hit two times the earnings. 
And as everyone knows too, times two is four. So if you use our referral code within the next 48 hours, you're most likely gonna get four times the earnings. So yeah, you guys need to try to get our card. And one last thing is, um, you can actually transfer your money into your bank by using the Visa card. That's just a thing I like to point out. I have a video link in the description for how to do that, but or how to transfer it to your PayPal. Um, what the frick is that guy? He's like touching his nipples. Uh, anyway, okay, uh, go back. Um, let's go back to the main page real quick, just because it looks better. And um, yeah, so those are my settings. Make sure you use the referral code. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Peace out! Salad is pretty lit, make fast money with it. Get coin in your pocket, no miners, they suck it. We use Ethereum, my money's a large sum. Can you even name one time when Bitcoin was fun? Nice hatches for the nerds, set up procedures are too many words. Reading the Visa card, yo.